everyone welcome back to my kitchen well I guess it would be grill you hear that I need to pause you guys hang on a second all right guys here we go I am making something I haven't made in 20 plus years since I was 18 and I lived with my very first roommate Tina she was a single mom of a two-year-old she did everything on her own including paying for everything except for having a roommate who helped with rent so this is one of the meals she used to make she made fried ramen I know that sounds weird and I know that might sound gross to some of you but I tell you fried ramen I was thinking about it today we happen to have some ramen around because I got it on sale for dirt cheap so I had bought in a big box of ramen and we have some left and I decided I haven't made fried ramen since I was 18 or 19 years old and lived with my roommate my first roommate Tina so I'm gonna make it now you can use any kind of vegetables you want she most of the time used those frozen quote-unquote mixed veggies which is carrots peas um, corn green beans but in this I have fresh peppers I have four fresh peppers the only fresh peppers I have gotten from my garden so far it came up to a cup of fresh peppers and then I have a cup of fresh green beans from my garden and then a cup of onions and a cup of shredded carrots those are those frozen ones you've seen either in previous or later to come videos depending upon how I upload them and then three tablespoons of butter she always did it on the stove I'm gonna do it on the grill because it's the middle of summer and it's really hot it'll work the same way it does not matter but yeah so we're just gonna take and put this on the grill and fry it all so we've got good fried veggies and then we'll go from there so I'm gonna take these out and put them on the grill and we're gonna start the frying process and we'll be back okay so my grill the gas on my grill died so I had to bring it inside onto the stove to keep cooking it now in here is three packets of ramen I try to keep the noodles as full as possible and we're just gonna fry the noodles in with the vegetables and the butter for three to five minutes until the noodles start to um, cook up a little bit then we'll add the seasoning packet and the meat and a little bit of water now since I use canned meat or I'm gonna use canned meat I fry it with the meat after I've added the noodles but if you have raw meat make sure you cook the meat and fry the meat right along with the vegetables but like I said since I'm using canned meat we're going to fry the noodles first and then add the canned meat so we're gonna let this fry for three to five minutes and then we'll be back okay since it is chicken or I mean since the ramen is chicken flavored ramen with chicken flavor packets I added chicken I added a quart of chicken and all the juice from the chicken but there is definitely not enough juice to uh, cook up all the ramen so I'm gonna add um, a half a quart of water and we'll be back all right you guys so there we have it I added the half a quart of water and then I added salt pepper and garlic to taste I'm gonna mix it all up and then I put the lid on it and I let it finish cooking up and frying up and it'll be nice and well all fried up and the noodles all nice and soaking up the juice and it'll be tasty so I'm gonna pop the lid on this and we're gonna let it finish frying and we'll be back when it's all done I 
hello 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 you guys and welcome back to my kitchen so today we're gonna try this video again last time I filmed this video I ran out of battery hopefully this time it'll last longer it says I have a full battery so let's see what happened what happened ha 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 um this meal um people have been enjoying my poor man meals um where I take store partial store products and make a meal out of it this one is a family favorite for us and a meal that I learned how to make from the very first roommate I ever had when I was 18 I moved out of my house like 18 year olds do and moved in with a friend of mine she was a single mom she was a couple years older than me and she had a three-year-old daughter and she had to support herself and her daughter completely alone so she had to pay for everything herself and do it all by herself and this was a meal that I learned to make from her and I'm going to teach it to you guys it's called fried ramen yes fried ramen I know sounds weird but actually it's really good you can use any kind of ramen you can use any kind of meat Remember, she even one time made shrimp. Oh my goodness. Now, I will tell you right now, there is no way I can reproduce that shrimp one. I am sorry. But chicken, oriental, beef, pork, all of those, they're easy to make. Shrimp, I can't remember what was all in it. I don't remember everything about it. I don't remember all the vegetables she added. I really wish I did because the shrimp was amazing and she made that one like once a month as a spoiler for spoiling themselves but she made fried ramen at least once a week because like I said she paid for everything herself yes I was a roommate yes I helped with things but when you're a single mom paying for every aspect of it yourself you've got to pinch pennies where you can so I'm going to teach you it just the basic concept of this. Um, like I said, I have tried to film this before. The battery died. I will maybe add those clips at the end of the video or make it its own video. We'll see what happens. Um, today I'm going to make Oriental with beef. Now, Oriental and beef mix really well. You can do beef strips, beef steak, hamburger. Any of that works with Oriental. Um, of course, beef works with beef ramen, pork. Any kind of pork works with pork ramen. Chicken works with chicken ramen. That was the other video I filmed was a chicken ramen one. So, let's get started on talking about how it's done. Now... When she did it, she always just bought those big bags of frozen veggies. You know, the carrots, peas, green beans, um, mixed vegetables um, that you can get from the grocery store. Um, she buy cauliflower mix, broccoli mix, um, Normandy mix, which also has squash and stuff like that in it. Anything that was on sale she'd make it out of it you can pretty much add whatever you want in here today I have peppers from my garden green beans from my garden carrots from my garden onions from the local co-op and celery from the local co-op and then a couple of tablespoons of butter um, if you are having to cook the meat at the same time add the meat right away since I don't need to cook the meat because it's canned we will be adding the meat later so at the moment, we're just going to cook the vegetables. So I'm going to take, I'm going to put this whole thing on the grill and let it start cooking. And we'll bring you back for the next step when I add the beef strips. Because I'm going to be adding uh, beef rib strips to it. And then, yeah, we'll take you through each and every step. So I'm going to take this out to the grill. I'm going to put it on the grill. You can also put it on your stove top on medium high or you can put it in your oven on 350 degrees all depending upon the time of year and how you want to cook it so let's get started okay I have prepared my spice bowl 
In there, I have two tablespoons of garlic, a teaspoon of pepper, and a teaspoon of salt of your choice. Then tonight, I'm making oriental. So, I'm doing two oriental packets. So we're going to add the oriental spice to our spice bowl. And then we're going to take it out to the veggies. Add it to the veggies and have it cook in with the veggies while the veggies are finishing their frying process before we add the meat and then the noodles. So, we'll be back you guys. Oh, okay. So here we go. We have a quart of beef strips, and I'm going to add this to the ramen, juice, fat, and all. Mmm. Yep, smells good, looks good, seal was good, all works. We're going to take this out to the grill and add it. And here we go, you guys. You always want to, I added the spices here a couple minutes ago. You want to make sure that your vegetables are good and fried. Um, if you are using frozen or raw meat, make sure it's fried right along with the veggies really good. But I'm using canned. I'm using a quart of canned beef strips, juice, and fat, and everything. I'm going to add it in here. We're only going to let it sit and cook for a couple of minutes, basically to make sure it warms up. That's pretty much what we're doing. And then after the beef strips get all warmed up, along with the veggies, we will add our noodles. So, we're just going to let it be. We'll be back in a few minutes. And that is that for this scene. Alright, we're going to finish this up on my stove top because I ran out of gas. <laughs> okay, out of context, that sounds really bad. <laughs> um, I do that often in the summertime. I always cook on my grill or try to always cook on my grill unless it's a cool day and my house is nice and cool. Or, like I said, I run out of gas and I don't have a choice. So, in here is those beef strips um there's about half a cup of water we have two packages of ramen so we want one and a half cups of water so here is another cup and then the two packages of ramen noodles not completely broken down you don't want them broken down into little tiny bits this one unfortunately one of the packages broke down quite a bit when i was trying to break it you want to try to just snap them in half and then try to put them in there as full as you can. Just add it in there. Get the ramen down in the juicy juice. And then most importantly, for the very last part of the fried ramen, we want to add a lid to it. So it creates like a steaming environment. What did I do with my lid for my pan? There it is. We want to create a steaming environment so the ramen will cook down nice. Um, and then after the ramen is all nice and soft, we're going to stir it all up again. And make sure that it's good and fried. Because that's the point of fried ramen is the fried part. So, we're going to let this go. It'll probably take three to five minutes for that ramen to cook down. And then another three to five minutes for it to fry up beautiful. So, we'll bring you back when it's all nice and cooked down. And then we'll show you after it's all good and fried. So, Hi. we'll be back you guys. Alright, here we go you guys. You see how it has started to break up nicely I mean the noodles are still a little undercooked that is okay that happens 
there's plenty of juice in here to finish the uh, frying process of the noodles. We just want to stir it all up, get it all good and cooked. If you think it needs to have a drop more water added, which I do, add that drop more water if the noodles aren't completely cooking down. You want to add literally an eighth of a cup or two, three, four tablespoons at a time. Do not add too much water at a time or you're going to end up with a saucy fried ramen and that's not fried ramen then it's ramen soup and we don't want that we want fried ramen so just a little bit more juice well water I should say it'll turn into juice as it cooks stir it up good put the lid back on it Cook it for a couple more minutes and then come back and check on it. Oh, I wish I had smell of vision. Oh. All right, we're going to put the lid back on it now that I've added about an eighth of a cup or two to three tablespoons. And we let it keep cooking. So, we'll be back, you guys. All right, guys, I can tell you it's done. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, that looks so beautiful. Good and fried up. That's exactly what we want. So, we're going to turn it off. Sorry to shake the camera, you guys. We're going to let it sit for three to five minutes oh and then we'll dish it up and we'll eat it so there we have it fried rice from my roommate that I lived with when I first moved in a great poor man's meal like I've said before you can use any vegetable combination you want you can use any meat you want you can use any ramen flavor you want just make sure that you don't use chicken with the beef or chicken with the pork or beef with the chicken you want to make sure you kind of make sure that the flavors of the ramen and the flavors of your meat will match and it's a great cheap meal um, Yes, I realize it is ramen, but again, like I said, it's a cheap meal, um, poor man's food, and it's especially good for, well, she was a single mom, and she paid for everything herself, so it gave her child all the vegetables she needed, it gave her child a good dose of protein, um, herbs and spices flavors it's despite the ramen it is filled with really good vitamins and minerals and nutrients from all the vegetables and all the meat and all the protein that are in it so it despite being ramen like I've said like three times it is good so I hope you enjoyed the video if you did Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if there's any other kind of poor man's meals you'd like to see me make. And I will try to make them. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Remember everyone, stay positive. Bye.